Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Anime Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for The Ancient Magus Bride Season 1, Episode 14, titled Looks Breed Love. Okay, here's the thing that I'm concerned about going into this episode. Um, we didn't get the content with um, Leanne Sihi uh, that we were supposed to. And I'm kind of annoyed about that. And we and last week's episode was just freaking terrible. Anyway, I'm hoping this week is a huge improvement. Without further ado, let's get to um, this live reaction. So where we're starting off this week is um, about page 25 of chapter 20. I really don't like the animation for um, Chisei's face. Uh, you know, fox face. It does not look as pretty as it does in the manga. It looks it looks jacked, if you ask me. Um, let's see. Okay, so Ash and Eyes's dialogue gets really chopped up. It does. So I'm gonna. Uh, this is on page twenty-seven. I'm gonna go into it. And like, there's this beautiful image. Um, that we didn't get either of Chisei, and I would have loved to seen it animated, but fuck, anime, this anime hates me. Alright, so here's what it, I'm going to start off with this. Um, you came to torment me? Do you hate those, um, who have the eyes to bind your kind that much? No, I came to warn you. This is what Slay Vega are. Human, but closer to us than to their mortal kin. Oh my god, okay. Have, uh, you forgotten that's what they're, uh, called the good neighbors of old, just like us? Why the fuck did you not mention this? Why? Anime, just, just, just tell me why did you do this? Let's see. Vi uh, what? Okay, so we're just skip. like, I don't know what this anime's problem is. I'm really worried that this anime is going to go in the direction of Ballroom Yukoso, where it was just... It was really good for a while, and then it just, uh, like, after a certain point, it was just like, we have everyone hooked, fuck it. That's what I feel like is happening here. But this was skipped uh, by Ash and Eyes. Uh, ah, children grow and become adults. For all the millennia I have walked um, this earth, still I cherish such great such moments greatly. Why would you skip that? At the end, okay, I, I want to talk about this, though. The cut scenes between, you know, the cut between uh, Chisei's fox form and her uh, human form, that was, it's really well done. I really like that. And, yeah, and I love the, oh, Ruth, oh, Ruth. Ruth is like, I'm going with you no matter what. Um. Uh, oh, oh. Or like his, like his, um, fey form. Holy shit, that's awesome. I love seeing them interact like this. Um, let's see. And something I was hoping that the anime was going to do, and I'm really disappointed they didn't, was the, um, when Chisei turns back into a human, they don't do the cool transition like I w really wanted them to. But to do, but whatever. I mean, I, I think I'm expecting too much from this anime, and I haven't even watched March Comes in Like a Lion today, so yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait to watch March Comes in Like a Lion. <laughs> um, let's see. Um. Oh, this part was skipped. Uh, we call people who enjoy things like this to other. Um, uh, giving things like like this to others, psychopaths, she say. I, I think that was that was skip. But I don't understand this though. Like, why are you not showing she say writing in her diary before going to bed? She because she writes and uh, that's how today I became um, became a fox. Not exactly what you call normal, but I guess it doesn't matter. And then the rest of the chapter is perfect. It it's just. The thing that frustrates me about chapter 20 is the adaptation is, like, at the beginning, we didn't see, like, Joel, the thing with Joel. Like, if they would have done that it, uh, before the opening song, um, like, they show Joel and, um, and Leanne City, if they showed them together, um, like, at the beginning of chapter 20, 
then I would actually forgive the anime for do for um, not showing it last week, but they didn't do that, so fuck. Anyway, um, let's get to chapter 21's adaptation and see if the ancient Magus Bride can step up its game. Okay, they did show some of this content, the content from chapter, the beginning of chapter 20, but I don't like the placement. Even though I understand why they placed it there, I just don't like it. I wish it would have been at the beginning of the episode to get give us some foreshadowing. That would have been really nice. But no. Um, and I, I got a comment on the, um, the soundtrack. I really like how creepy the soundtrack is right now. It's awesome. She suggested an Alohomora, and damn, that was cool to see. It's definitely not like in Harry Potter. <laughs> I stand corrected. That wasn't the content from uh, the beginning of chapter 20 that we saw with Leanne, CT, and Joel. It was, um, it was right here. It was the dialogue from, uh, page six. I still don't like the placement. I don't. The placement should have been where it was, like it is in the manga. But whatever. Instead of, and because now in the anime you just have her saying when we get there, Chise, instead of, like, giving the explanation there. Like, that just, uh, that just did not make sense to me at all. This part was skipped. Um, his heart's still beating. He's so much more pale than he was, uh, the last time I saw him. And it was cool seeing Elias show up. Yeah. I gotta say, the animation for Leanne Sihi looks so good. Her facial expressions are spot on. I love it. I just wish we would have had the dialogue where, you know, she's t telling Chise about Joel's condition. Like, I wish we would have had it in the right spot, because then it would have been more effective for me. Thank God you did the Leanne seed he the Leanne seed he's um, seen correctly. I was worried about that because you have because the anime. I'm, when I mean by you, I mean the anime half-assed it. Um, Leanne seed he when we were at her um, portion of the ma uh, portion of the manga uh, previously. So I'm really, 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 really happy with the animation for Leanne seed he, and I'm loving like how they're doing. They're matching this manga like perfectly. It's like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> no! But I love Elias' human form. But it doesn't look right in the face for some... For, to me, it doesn't look right in the face. And I'm not happy with that. Something that is really ticking me off is that they skipped... Uh, Joel said something really... Um, I liked what he said here. It And they skipped it, which was... Um, growing old, drawing closer to death, of course I'm scared. Finding it harder and harder to read words, to grasp a pen with each passing day, each night, um, keeping me awake, wondering how things will change tomorrow. But change isn't bad. Like, what the fuck? Why did you not meant to have that line? That line was so good. Okay, this was skipped as well, which was, um, I, what shit? I enjoyed having tea with your girl. She was like the first shoot of a new spring. That's enough for me. I can't think of anything better than meeting someone um, new at the very end. Uh, and still, and then go back to, the, you know, j to just remember, see her one more time. And it's really sad. Like, this whole, this chapter is just so goddamn sad. And, uh, and like, the anime is doing, the anime is doing okay with this, you know, portion of the manga. I'm just really disappointed because they could have done more. Like, Studio Shift, who does March Comes in Like a Lion, would have taken it, like, a step further and made it art. But nope, not Ancient Magus Bride. So this content was skipped. Um, uh, mm, I see. So you met, um, uh, uh, him while you were looking for me? Mm, strange though. To Lee and C, um, to Lee and C, um, men are nothing more than food. Does Joel really only have a week left? Just about. His life's been drained away a little by little. He's almost at his limit. What can I do? What should I do to make things right? Um, that was all skipped. Oh, we're not- Okay. I hate when we skip lore like this, but this is what- Especially in a magic manga. Slash anime. Which is- th This was skipped. Fairy self takes a while to complete. Five days to be precise. Place an old, uh, gold coin in a bottle of spring water and mix in the essence of seasonal flowers. Uh, one night in, uh, the light of the full moon- uh, then one night, each on, um, windowsills facing in the four cardinal directions, but you only have a 50% chance of succeeding. Why is that? Fairies dislike being seen, so you won't be able to rely on their health for this. You'll have to keep the salve stable using your magical power alone. 
And to do that, you'll need to stay by the bottle the entire time. You might not even want to, you might not even be able to sleep. Do you still want to go ahead with this knowing that? Elias, do you think I could do it? I don't recommend doing it, but yes. But I want to do this just this once. So basically, we skipped the rest of chapter 21. That, all that content I read you, that was the end of chapter 21. It was all fucking skipped. I do, I'm really angry that this is skipped because what they could have done was they could have still had, you know, like this, uh, the dialogue as like a narration kind of thing and shown the steps. That would have been really fine. I would have been fine with that. But no, no, of course not. Because Ancient Magus Bride doesn't care about the manga fans. And it doesn't really care to give a shit about lore either. I'm starting to realize you don't give a shit about lore, Ancient Magus Bride. Oh, oh, so the rest of chapter 21 is here. Like, the last part of it's here, but not the other content that, you know, that basically is instructions for to make to ma the fairy salve. Oh my god, they got the directions! Oh, thank god, thank god, thank god. But they were supposed to be from Elias's mouth, not from Chise's, but whatever. I'm just happy that these directions are here. I would have been mad if they skipped them completely. You know what? I will give you- I will take back all the shit I was saying about you not doing, um, the narration. I- I'm fine with- you know what? I am fine with what you're doing here, Ancient Magus Bride, with the narration. I, like, I just wish it was done, um, I just wish the dialogue and shit was mentioned, like, prior to this scene. But whatever. So there's a few things skipped here, like- about Ruth saying, like, I don't like your, I don't like it's your, um, it's okay. I wish that would have been there because that was funny. And, like, there's more content about the Slave Vega that gets, is getting skipped. I just don't understand it. This shit, she say is a Slave Vega. Why are you not having this? Um, where are you? Here it is. You're a Slave Vega and a Magus, of course, and, um, you care for us, but you're still human. Aren't humans supposed to be scared of things that eat them? Hmm, but that's just how you show your affection, isn't it? Um, let's see. This is the other part that was skipped earlier with, um, uh, Ruth. Um, it's a good thing, uh, tonight's the full moon. What? I don't trust you or it'll be okay. Even I'd say something if, um, I was about to die. I wonder, even for a human, you lie a lot. Ruth! Um, why? Why are you willing to go so far for us? That part was there. But, like... I just don't understand why little things like this are being skipped. It, it feels like, the ep in a way, it makes the episode feel a little rushed, but whatever. Oh my god! I was waiting for this part to be here! Oh my god, I, I've been waiting to see Oberon! Because, like, I knew at the beginning of the chapter, we, there was an Oberon sighting, and I'm like, Oberon! I love Oberon! Oberon is one of the best characters in the series. Joel says, thank you for loving me, Lancy, lover of both. <laughs> oh, God. So adorable. God, I can cry. Like, the fact that he's saying, you know, it doesn't, like, even, I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'll be by my wife's side and he'll be with us. It's just, just like, it's so, so daily right now. Oh, my God. Oh my god, how Joel dissolved was so cool. Oh my god, it's br I know it's breaking all of our hearts right now. But god, it, this is exactly what I wanted from this anime. And the soccer is just giving me goosebumps. It's making me cry. Oh my god. Abron! Yee! Abron! Oh my god. The ending. Would you say coffee blood in her head? Holy shit. Oh my god, what did you guys think of this episode? This episode definitely was better than last week. There were four some problems with this one, but I would say it is a hundred times better than last week's episode. That episode was so half-assed, and I hated last week's. But this week's, it was beautiful, the music was fantastic, the animation was great, and I actually am, I really enjoyed, even though it was sad, um, when Joel and Leanne and C you know, we're together. But I think uh, the anime did skip, you know, the fact that she says she's not taking any more lovers. Like, what the fuck, anime, for not mentioning that. But overall, this episode was pretty damn good. There were some problems, but 
nothing like last week's. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel exp expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, find me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.